Welcome to another episode of The U. My name is Robert Whitaker. Today, I'm going to teach you what PC tag IDs are. So what is a PC tag? So when you create an EPG, a PC tag ID is automatically assigned to it. And those PC tag IDs then get programmed into the leaf switches to enforce policy. So let's go through an example. Let's say the web EPG and the app EPG are part of the same VRF. The web EPG then gets assigned a PC tag of 49155 and the app EPG gets assigned a PC tag of 49156. Now let's say we apply a contract between the two EPGs to permit some kind of traffic. So after the contract's applied and assuming all the other configurations in place, the APIC will need to apply policy on the respective leaf switches. To do this, the APIC programs zoning rules into the leaf switches. And you can think of zoning rules as like the ACLs of ACI. And zoning rules are used by leaf switches to determine when a switch should permit or drop traffic. So I'm going to show you how PC tags work in two simple steps. Step number one, we'll find the PC tags of the EPGs. Step number two, we'll look at the zoning rules on a leaf switch. So let's go to step number one. We need to find the PC tags of the EPGs. So I'm in the sales tenant. I then click on the pre-sales VRF. Uh, this is the VRF that the EPGs are going to be using. I then click on the operational tab. I click the associated EPGs tab. And here I have the app EPG. It's been assigned a PC tag of 49156. And here is the web EPG. It's been assigned a PC tag of 49155. So let's go to step number two. We're gonna look at the zoning rules on one of the leaf switches. And remember, zoning rules get programmed into the leaf switches to enforce policy. They're like the ACLs of ACI. So we'll type the show zoning rule command. We hit enter, and here we go. Here is the zoning rules. And in this example, we see two zoning rules. So this entire row right here is our first zoning rule. And this row is our second zoning rule. So let's break down the output of this command. We're gonna focus on the second zoning rule. So here we have the source EPG column and the second zoning rule entry has a value of PC tag 49155. So remember, this is the web EPG. Next, we have a destination EPG column. The value for our second zoning rule is PC tag 49156. Remember, this is the app EPG. So based on this output, when the web EPG is sending traffic to the app EPG, it looks like we're permitting some type of traffic using the file services contract. So that begs the question, based on this output, what kind of traffic are we permitting in the zoning rule? Feel free to pause the video to see if you can figure it out. And the answer is, it's actually a trick question. You can't tell what type of traffic is being permitted by looking at the output of this command. The traffic being permitted is actually stored in filter ID 424. And so we would need to run another command to see what's inside of the filter. So next we run the show zoning filter command. We then hit enter and here's the output. And notice right here is filter ID 424. And if we look at the destination port columns, we can see we're permitting traffic destined to port 22, which is the port used for SSH traffic. Okay, so this is a visual recap of what we just confirmed via the zoning rules and filter ID commands. So the web EPG with PC tag 49155 is permitted to send SSH traffic to the app EPG, which has PC tag 49156. So going back to our definition, this probably makes a lot more sense now. PC tags are numbers that automatically get assigned to EPGs. The PC tag IDs then get programmed into the leaf switches to enforce policy. Now you can actually see how PC tags get used in a leaf switches forwarding decision by using something called the ACI Elam Assistant. Uh, I created a video that covers the Elam Assistant and notice right here we're seeing references to PC tag IDs. If you're interested in learning more about the Elam Assistant, I'll, I'll include a link to the video in the show notes. Now, if you want to learn more about ACI, you can go to Cisco U, just go to u.cisco.com. And if you search for PC tags, we cover PC tags in the DC ACI A course. Also, I teach the Cisco Operations and Troubleshooting Bootcamp for ACI. It's actually multiple weeks of training. We cover the basics of ACI, but we also go in depth on several ACI topics, and we do cover PC tags in the course. I'll include a link to the course in the show notes.
Also, if you like this video and want to see more of these videos in the future, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's all I have, everyone. I hope this was useful, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.